da, da, da. Okay. Hello, everybody. It's me. I'm back for another episode of The Forager. Uh, or just Forager, it's not The Forager. So, I need to start this video off with an apology because I thought I'd actually recorded the commentary on this video as well as the previous one. Unfortunately, I was wrong. I didn't record your uh, audio on this, so I have to post commentate it, which is crazy because these videos were recorded two and a half months ago. Uh, so it is now th the end of the end of March. It's it's the 31st of March today. I'm not going to hide the date, uh, which means we're we're in right in the smack dab in the middle of uh, of, of the isolation period for this whole virus thing that's been going on. Uh, we we have personally been in quarantine now for about a week, uh, something like that. So we haven't been out since last Wednesday to go shopping. So and we need to go out again this week to go shopping, but we're not sure whether we should go tomorrow, which is Wednesday, or whether we should wait till the weekend. But anyway. Enough about that, I spoke about the coronavirus in the medieval videos I did. Let's talk a little bit more about other things, because <clears throat> there are plenty of other things to talk about. Forgive me if I'm a little bit sort of sore on uh, on commentary, because I'm sort of... I'm not, I'm not used to doing this at the moment, I'm just kind of kind of going with the flow, you know, just kind of feeling things out. It's been a weird time. We live in a very strange time right now, so... But yeah, I've been uh, I've been playing um, uh, a couple things. Uh, I, I stopped playing Medieval because um, I got to I think it's the fifth or sixth level in the game, uh, the one with the ant hill where you have to go in the ant hill and um, uh, uh, kill the queen ant. Um, I spent about an hour going through it because. I'd never played the game before and I didn't know how to get through it so I was exploring and having fun and I got to the end and I just got fucking murdered by the Queen Ant um, and it sent me all the way back to the beginning so I was like nah fuck that um, and I just gave up on it for now. I'll go back to it eventually but I, I wanted to play some easier more simple stuff uh, again for a little bit. Uh, speaking of which, I need to go back to Forager at some point, so let's let's talk about this because I, I actually realized a few days ago uh, The one thing I never did in this video, this was the last video I recorded, the one thing I could have done was uh, uh, Digging so so I realized what my issue was right why I wasn't getting the stuff from the ground that I wanted um, like gems you need the rare dig spots Right, so what I was supposed to be doing was digging up the, uh, the the shrine, putting it over, you know, where the where the um, uh, the the quarry was, spawning all that stuff in, and then just keep digging it up and placing it until I got the dig spot uh, one. Uh, and then it will fill that whole area up with dig spots in where the lighthouses are. And if you dig up where the lighthouses are, you get more stuff, right? So with rare dig spots where you can get like crazy rare stuff out of them, you get loads of cool stuff, including tons of gems, tons of items that you'd normally have to craft. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I just sort of missed out on that fact. Um, I'm not even sure what I was doing during this 22 minutes. The the, the thing about this video was um, I didn't record a whole hour for this one. This one I wanted to just record um, like, like a normal sized episode without cutting it and just kind of talk and update. But I don't remember what I said. So I can't tell you exactly what I was talking about during the course of this 22 minutes. I have no fucking idea. So... There you go, that's why this is 22 minutes long, um, and also why there are absolutely no cuts. So, although I shouldn't say that since the hour long video that I did a couple of episodes ago was obviously not cut at all either, but it would be unusual for this series, knowing that I do hours at a time and then cut them down, for me to have an entire hour again where I have no commentary. Um, and, and for it to only be 22 minutes, it seems rather strange, doesn't it? Um, or maybe it seems strange, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I've been playing Omega Collection, Wipeout Omega Collection, I've purchased that. Uh, and I've been playing it for a few days now, it's actually really good. It's a really good game, I've been seriously enjoying it. Uh, I might do a gaming shenanigans on it actually, because it's really, really good. Uh, I also picked up uh, a Wii game, uh, picked up Banana Blitz HD on the Nintendo Wii. Because uh, I was looking at my list of, of 
games um, on, on my wish list on PS4, uh, and I saw that there was a, a remake of Banana Blitz HD, and I did my research, and it turns out it wasn't very good, and it isn't considered one of the best uh, b banana uh, thing games. Uh, Super Mon Monkey Ball. Monkey Ball, that's right, so the name's Monkey Ball. Uh, it wasn't considered one of the best Monkey Ball games, um, and, and the, the, even though the original was okay, the, the HD remake is, is negatively reviewed almost, so uh, I, I took it off my wish list and, uh, and I, I picked up the original Wii version of it instead, because I, I do have uh, Monkey Ball Deluxe on the Xbox, so uh, I already have that. Uh, I did play that at one point a couple of years ago, but I, I, I don't know, like it's fun, it's just kind of weird, it's sort of an arcadey game, there's not really much of a point to it other than high scores, um, so I don't know, it, I might have to play it again at some point in the future, just to get myself like in the, the zone of it. Um, Man, I, I, I honestly can't wait to get this out of the way, um, it, once this video is done, once this video is up, which should be this... Uh, Thursday. Today is Tuesday, so this should go up on Thursday. Uh, I'll be able to record more Forager, um, and since I haven't really recorded much lately, that'd be great to get back into into recording stuff again. Um, but first, I've got to get this one out of the way. So I haven't had uh, much stuff to talk about, actually, all things considered. Uh, what, what, what else did I get? What else did I do? Oh, uh, a couple other, a couple things uh, that I found recently. Um, I, uh, before this whole quarantine thing went into effect, I actually went into a bookstore, uh, which is something I don't do very often, I don't read books usually, um, but before this whole quarantine thing went into effect a couple weeks ago, uh, I went into a, a store called Oasis, uh, which, uh, it's not just a bookstore, uh, it's sort of a second-hand thrift store, if you will, and, uh, there's furniture in there, there's records, there's books, uh, there's, you can find such like old stuff in these stores like old antique shit it's really cool i actually really like that shit and i should go there more honestly but they have an entire section for books um and i picked up a few books we were only in there for about 10 minutes and i was trying to look around but, but uh, i was in there with my brother and my dad and we were being like really hasty or they were being hasty so i had to be really quick about picking stuff up uh but i picked up three books um, I'm not going to tell you one of them because it might cause a bit of controversy, but I'll tell you the other two. Uh, I picked up uh, a book called the uh, Cyclopedia, which uh, I did my research on that, and apparently it's a book that was first published in 1893 or something like that, um, and it's it was around until 2017. They published a book every single year until 2017. And wow, look how fast I'm digging. Uh, and and then they they sort of closed the company. So um, yeah, it's unfortunate. But the version that I found that they had in the store was 2004 to 2005 edition. Oh, hold on, I'll pick it up. There we go. Okay, <laughs> don't mind me. Uh, yeah, 2004 to 2005 edition, so it's the 113th edition, right? Now, it, it caught my eye because, I, and I, I can't show you a picture of this, obviously. It'd be really annoying for me to put a picture on the screen of this because I'd have to take the picture, I have to edit it, um, and, and make sure that the share factory can take the image size and everything, and then, then I have to put it on a USB and import it. You have no idea how annoying it is to edit in share factory, right? Some of the videos that I've made over the last six months or so have been really difficult to make for me um, especially some of the simple edits that used to be really easy for me on a computer are hard to pull off on share factory um, you know I try my best though I, I want my videos to still be somewhat okay you know but, but you you can't even imagine the effort it takes to actually get uh, music synced up at the end of the video when I do like a music outro um, that's really difficult to do because uh, I have to, I have to sort of sync the music up properly. Um, there's like this sort of um, uh, setting in the music which makes it like uh, overwrite the noise of the background video. So I have to sort of work and, and turn that off, and it it, it could be really annoying. Um, but you know, it's 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 all right. You get used to it after a while. Anyway, this this uh, encyclopedia, right? So. Uh, it caught my eye because it has this beautiful white, sort of like like pure white, by the way. So well, actually, I shouldn't say pure white. It's sort of it's sort of a darker white. 
imagine like pure white but a little faded that's that's what what it is right um and it's got sort of this red hollow foil uh imprint on it uh, on the front where it says 2004 to 5 edition and then it's got the logo of the company pairs and encyclopedia 113 edition that's all in red and it's got this sort of red border around it as well um and also the the edge is all red it's it's a lot of red and white which stands out obviously you'd expect white and red on white stands out um so let me tell you what it is because i'm sure anybody who is still listening to this after me rambling for the last three minutes is wondering what the fuck this actually is uh, also, can I, um, okay, yeah, there we go, I can see the time on the video now, we're already halfway through it. So, basically, the Cyclopedia, um, let me just read you what the subtitle is, right? So, Cyclopedia, 113th edition, a compendium of curious and useful information about things that everyone ought to know. That is the subtitle for this book, and inside is a whole host of information about various different things from this period of time 2004 to 2005 um i haven't even gotten to look at more than 10 pages of this thing um but i can see that there are dictionary pages where there are words uh, and it gives you a full explanation like a normal encyclopedia of these words but not just words it also has events places uh, names uh, anything and everything in between and it gives you definitions explanations kind of like wikipedia ring it and getting a really really short wikipedia article um explaining the thing that's basically what this book is and i'd imagine that's why this book went uh went downhill and and why they didn't sell as many in their later years but uh let me just find something so so i'm on the prominent people's pages uh let's here we go galileo is one that, that people would, would know. So in the entry Galileo, it says 1564 to 1642, Italian scientist whose experimental mathematical methods in the pursuit of scientific, uh, scientific truth laid the foundations of modern science. He became professor of mathema uh, mathematics at Pisa University when he was 25 and le lectured at Panda, Padua. I can barely read this, the writing's tiny. For 18 years, he made a number of fundamental discoveries. For example, in regard to the hydrostatic balance thermometer, telescope, and foreshadowed Newton's laws of motions. Uh, of motion, uh, he detected the four major satellites of Jupiter, the ring of Saturn, and the spots of the Sun. He supported the superiority of the uh, Copernican. Uh, Copernican, sorry, that's how you pronounce that, over the T Ptolemaic theory uh, and was put under house arrest for so doing. He died the year Newton was born, rehabilitated by Catholic Church, 1992. Okay, so despite my really shitty reading of that, you get the idea. Every entry in this book has a full explanation to it rather than just a short short explanation like a dictionary you know like like a one word thing where it says noun verb and then to do this or meaning to do this or something you know like a normal dictionary it has explanations there's also uh, uh, uh like there's a page here current issues the environment um the tre trend to urbanization uh, the countryside debate the background the challenge threats to agriculture, trends in world population, GM food controversy, landscape prote uh, protection. This is like a book of history, basically. It's very interesting. It's a really f interesting book. Uh, now, the other one I got, which isn't as interesting, is uh, the Guardians of Gahul books. Uh, I actually enjoyed the Guardians of Gahul movie, and I never read the books, but I heard they were pretty good books. So uh, I saw that they had a volume of four uh, sitting on the shelf. Uh, that's one to four, by the way, but there's like 16 volumes. And I thought, eh, I'll pick them up. You know, it's the first four volumes. That's, that's, you know, if I'm not interested in the story by the time I get to the end of book one or two, then obviously I'm not going to continue. So there's no point in buying all of the books if I'm not going to read the whole thing but if i do end up reading the whole thing and getting to the end of number four then i'll obviously go and find a way to read the rest of them but um but yeah so that's that's what i picked up in that store before this whole quarantine thing started um what else what else have i done uh i um 
I told you about the games. Oh, I got these uh, cases on eBay, right? These are really interesting. Uh, there's, there was only two of them uh, that this guy was selling, but they're sort of plastic cases, custom photoshopped, and they hold, um, they can hold various different uh, game items uh, or, or game discs or cartridges. So they're, they're designed in, in such a way that they could hold either a disc or an NES cartridge, or, or an SNES cartridge, or an N64 cartridge. Um, they've got this really weird design inside that like can hold any of these things. Um, it, it's really strange, I've never seen anything like it, but it's cool though. Um, and he had two of them. Uh, one for the EverDrive 64, which weirdly enough was uh, made for the version 3 uh, of the Crix EverDrive that I have. So that was perfect for me. Uh, and he also had a Banjo-Kazooie one as well, and since I have a copy of Banjo-Kazooie on cartridge, I thought I'd pick that up as well, because they look like really cool cases. Maybe I'll take a picture of them and show them one day, but not for this video, though. Um, but yeah, so so I picked those up as well. Uh, what, what else was I playing before Omega Collection? Um, between Omega Collection and Medieval, I swear I was playing something, but I can't fucking remember what, though. Um... I suppose something interesting that happened like yesterday, uh, I taught my dad to play Minecraft a little bit. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> um, he has no idea really how to, how to play games um, outside of like racing games. He, he enjoys racing games actually. It's like the only kind of game that he enjoys. And I, I, I thought like, you know, Minecraft is, is such a universal game. Like anybody can get into it. I see no reason uh, to, to not gi give him a, a go on it and see if he can't handle it. And, um, and, and he, he built like a little hovel in the side of a hill. He built a workbench, he built a furnace, and he built a chest and a door and some torches. It took about half an hour or, or so, but um, but yeah, you know, he got he got the gist of it, sort of. You know, he, he was struggling with uh, remembering which buttons did which. He has bad eyesight, so he can't see the button prompts on screen that tells you which button is mine and which button is craft and which button is inventory. Um, and you know, his, his memory is not great either, so he sort of gets confused with all the buttons, uh, which ones do what. So sometimes he confuses left triggers. Uh, uh, thing for the right triggers thing uh, or the same with the shoulder buttons um, sometimes he even has to sort of like lift the controller up to look at the buttons underneath because the buttons all have the labels on them LT, RT, LB, RB um, you know so he can see which button those are um, so yeah it's it's he's one of those people but he still managed to get the gist um, and then after that I, I, I started a creative world and I showed him how you can build like a neat looking house in Minecraft and he kept complaining how there weren't slanted roofs and I'm like this is it's a Minecraft this there's no there's no uh, there's no straight lines in this game you know or, or no angles anyway um, the best you can get is steps <laughs> it's all cubes so yeah so that's that's something we did yesterday uh, otherwise, again, back to the forager. Um, I'm really not sure uh, what the hell I was doing in this video. Um, I've been trying to figure it out as I've been rambling on about random stuff the last 10 minutes, but I actually have no idea what I've been doing. I think I've just been slowly but surely working my way towards building more of the accessories in this, in this clip, I think. Um, but yeah, so in the next video though, I'm hoping uh, we'll record that soon. Uh, I'm hoping to get back to uh, farming massive amounts of resources and finishing building some of these things that have been sort of just annoying us now for many episodes, uh, like the gloves and the boots. Uh, and also, uh, did we finish building the Necronomicon things? Uh, I can't remember. Also, I've got hiccups now. That's annoying. Uh, pardon me. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> That is annoying. So yeah, um, I keep saying that in this video, don't I? So yeah, so yeah. What what the fuck am I doing? I don't even know anymore. Who am I? Where are we in this crazy 2020 world we're living in? Oh god, I can't help myself. I have to talk more about this whole quarantine thing. It is just insane. This is this is the event of a lifetime for, for our generation. You know, this is something that's gonna be talked about for decades to come and it's so clear. You know, like it, I'm sitting here right now thinking like I am now a part of history. I am alive to witness a part of history. This will be written in history books that our grandchildren will read about. 
you know, this will be an event that will be documented, taught to kids in schools in the future. The great uh, coronavirus pandemic of 2020, um, where thousands of people died and, and over a million people got infected because we're well on the way to a million people infected at this point. Um, but it's it's just crazy to be uh, alive to witness this. So, um, and it's crazy to see what it's done to the world as well in terms of the the silence. There's like nobody out and about other than to go shopping at the moment. It's so silent. You go outside and there's just no noise other than the, the nature. You know the birds and the background hum because all civilizations have background hum. Um, this is just common knowledge. If you go out into the middle of fucking nowhere, you won't hear that hum no more. Um, anyway, we're reaching the end of this video, the tail end of it anyway. Uh, I'm sorry that this commentary was a little bit junk janky. I told, tried to tell you a few stories about things that have been happening recently. Updated you on, on the situation. We're all fine, by the way. We're all fine. No one's ill at the moment. No one's showing any signs of symptoms. Uh, my brother is actually working in hospital right now. Um, helping with all of this so you know big f for my brother or, uh, or or i should say claps claps for my brother he's a good man better than me um and this is my middle brother by the way the one you you've barely seen in any of my videos over the years uh perry um my other brother is uh asthmatic he can't he can't go out you can't risk getting it because if because of his asthma his lungs are obviously not as strong as other people's and he would probably be a very severe sufferer if he caught it so he has to stay quarantined but uh, the rest of us are all moderately fine um i don't think i have any health issues and my dad is pretty fine other than being older on the older side but he's not like old enough for it to be a high risk so um but yeah so um, we, we, we're, we're reaching the end of this now. We're about 40 seconds away from the end. So, um, anything else? Any last second things to say? I don't think so. I think that's it for this video. Um, sorry, it's a bit lackluster. You know, I, I did want to do something better for this, but unfortunately, this is the best I can do for now. I have more things to talk about. I have more videos to make. Uh, and during this period of quarantine, we've got plenty of time to do it. So, uh, yep, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!